Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to make the, this butterfly particles with a software called the Touch Designers and they trace this mouse cursor position and along to the XY directions and then uh, we're going to make the, this uh, 3D particles and the moving textures and, and we're going to map the, these 3D models into this 2D views in the range of XY positions I think it's uh, a little bit uh, useful in some kind of works uh, when you're making. Okay, uh, let's start. Okay, let's start from the first view of the touch designers and the delete all and the delete the palette browser too. And first, we're gonna make the butterfly movies with the containers component and change the name container one to butterfly. And you can get in with a double click and uh, get out with the center wheel downer or when you hit the keyword U shortcut. Okay, let's get into that. And first, we're gonna put the butterfly images here with a movie file in. And at the default, the touch designer has the this butterfly images, and we use this blocky ones. Yeah, this one. We're gonna crop these unnecessary areas at the at the near the edge. When the at the left, at the right and the bottoms and the top like this and then we want to change the colors these of these butterflies uh, with the level and um, I it's a blocky butterfly but I like the whitey one because it's easy to treat but with the level parameters of the invert that these transparency area becomes uh, w white because uh, the alpha also inverted so let's get creep with the inside operators and connect the original one to the second input then connect another level to change the brightness or contrast or so and let's change the connect HSV adjuster here hue saturation and value and Connect LFO to here and change select the lamp and change the amplitude to 360s and make it active with this plus mark and select the channel 1 and drag and drop to this operator's hue offset and the relative chop reference. With that, we can change the color like this and it's very eye catching. And then uh, let's move the wings and make it flip. With uh, first, we're gonna make a part, the wings and the bodies with the three crop operators. Uh, first, right wing, and uh, with the center wheel, we can finally adjust these kind of adjusting of these parameters. And uh, right, crop right, and make left wing like this. Okay, then the bodies. Right? Select this and check like this. Center part. And finally adjust like this. Okay. And once we're going to merge into one operator with the over, and the, but with the over, the image has become uh, different from the original one, so we have to make original empty uh, operator with uh, and this time we use level another level and uh, sorry and uh, make it opacity into zero with that we can get the empty one and uh, we gonna merge into one with the over like this okay and with this in these situations, the, the, this body uh, image becomes very stretched, so we have to change the fill into native resolutions and connect like this. And again, make fill to native resolutions. Okay, and copy it and paste and connect the right wings here like this. Okay, and with that, we can merge into one operators and this, let's adjust the display position of each flip wings like this first we're gonna fit into horizontal edge uh, uh, these two left and right edge and make center part into uh, proper position like this 
Okay, that's nice, I think. And right wings. Like this. Yeah, it's a nice position, I think. And connect to here. Okay, with this we can merge, uh, once merge again, the, these three parts. And then let's move the uh, this these wings with the displace operators. Let's insert here the displace. And with the displace, we can move along the chop signals. Uh, this time we use the wave here and connect to null here and connect chop to here. With the chop to and connect the second input, we can displace the image like this, but uh, we don't need two this 10 waves, so we only use the one waves like this. And this time we're gonna use the not sine wave or Gaussian curve with this time. And we're gonna use the not these part, only this part, quarter part too. So let's change the size of the wave into 4 and change phase to yeah, this part. It's approximately 1 of 4, uh, just 1 of 4. We can displace like this, but we don't want vertical transformations, so let's change into a vertical source to none and let's make displace waste of vertical into zero. And we don't want these lines, so let's change the extent to zero. And let's move the wings signals. And uh, this time I got this way and insert the math here and reference LFO signals to here, like this, make active and make check the leaf length and source to multiply parameters of this math. This time we don't want the negative numbers at this here, math operators, so let's change the LFO range to over 0 and make, in the, for example, make the offset to 0 0.5 and the amplitude to 0 0.5. When you change the display, this display source midpoint to 0 uh, uh, of the horizon, uh, the butterfly motion becomes like this. And to make it proper, the, these waves range. So let's change the, this area to 0 to 1. It's now approximately 1 of 3 to 1. That's a little bit short. So let's make offset to minus 1 of 3 and add multiply um, uh, 3 of 2 like this and it's also okay but uh, slightly displayed so let's add here the 0 0.02 and that uh, yeah add multiply here let's distract 0 0.02 and with that we can get yeah nice butterfly flippings but we want to change the, this amplitude of the flipping, for example, like the offset 1 to amplitude 1. With that, we can get a stronger flipping. And then in this time, the offset and the amplitude become always the same. So let's change the offset value to me.part.amp. Me.part.amp, that means that me, the, it's this operator itself and the PAR is the parameters. The amp is the here. This amplitude parameter is named the amp, so let's make it AMP. With that, only changing the amplitude offset also change. Let's make same effect to left wing too, so copy it and paste and connect to left wings. Oh sorry, not first. And the second input into this chop to here like this. With that, we also ch can change the left wings too, but uh, it's inverted, so let's get insert here the flip operators. This, and check the flip X on. With that, we can uh, invert the signal into the horizontal directions, and check the uh, displaced waste. This, uh, let's change it into minus one. With that, we can get, yeah, nice flipping moving. And it'll a little bit, uh, let's adjust the position of each operators a little bit, like this. Okay, that's nice. And let's get out the, these images out of the disk component. With that, 
uh, with auto operators when you do, when you connect to that output connectors appear so uh, for example when you connect to no one this butterfly movies appeared and then let's make your original parameters to get out the these each parameters inside of this so then a uh, right click and uh, select the customized component windows and connect Select again the parameters window too. The parameters windows is the same as these properties areas windows like this. And then let's get inside of this and let's make make the color parameters first. So let's add a page to color with the cu customized component windows colors and add a page. With that, yeah, when you see the parameters windows, this original color page appeared so then in the color pages let's drag these parameters of the colors and first the black levels and when you do that this set refers to expression of source tab appeared so let's check it with that uh, uh, automatically we can apply the this references okay and then repeat that set brightness to gamma Contrast and uh, well, when you miss to check the set to expression reference and source, you can uh, apply as uh, with the parameters windows and drag and drop to here and the uh, relative parameters references. Um, and also, you can make the par references like this, but the parameter size become not the same as the original one, so we have to change the, this to one. For examples, and also we have to change the default number too. Uh, it's now all the same as one, so it's okay. And then let's make the flip page to uh, flip and add a page. With that, we can have the flip page too, and it's now empty. But uh, when you uh, drag and drop the, this this one uh, frequency and that refers to expression source and amplitude too. With that, we can now change the butterfly flipping with these parameter windows. Then, movie 5, a uh, movie making is over. And uh, that's all. Let's check. Yeah, not active. I like this. And then get out of here and no need to over these windows. And let's make the backgrounds of the component and the dot slash out one that means the dot slash is the inner the inner out one means this one okay we do that yeah butterfly component is finished with the, these pages and the parameters you can get regional color like this gamma and the contrast and flipping too like this and the amplitude of the flipping 